last 40 years I work in this area in Qatar. In 2006 I joined Aspire Zoo. They have memory for Khalifa Stadium especially. It will be start first time to build. So opening ceremony March 1976. I was at uh, September 2003. I was uh, chosen to be the school principal for the academy. I am currently working as uh, the warehouse supervisor here in Aspire Zone and under the management of Aspire Logistics. I am um, in, uh, in Aspire Academy since uh, September 2004 and uh, has been hired as a physiotherapist. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Maakum Muhammad, Mushaf Tarbawi, second Dakhili. أنا محمود عبد الله الخطيب أعمل كأخصائي تغذية رياضية في قسم التغذية الرياضية. My position now is like combined events coach in jumps. Well, I came here in September 2004 to to establish this academy. I came from Australia, worked previously with Australian Institute of Sport. I'm the head of organizational excellence at Aspita. I started first of September 2005. As the project coordinator in Aspita. I'm Saeed Asroor, I'm a second at Talabi in the Academy of Aspire. Aspire, لم يكن اسمها Aspire في البداية كان اسمها الأكاديمية الرياضية وعلمت بها عن طريق ترشيحي من قسم توجيه اللغة العربية في وزارة التربية والتعليم. حضرت إلى هذا البلد الكريم سنة 1997. وأول ما جيت لأني أنا كنت ضابط معاش في القوات المسلحة. I was interviewed in Amsterdam in 2002 and uh, together with four other coaches um, we were interviewed for starting up the football team for a new to develop Qatar Sports Academy. The name Aspire did not exist. Our office was a small porta cabin where the uh, torch tower is now standing. It's uh, a small office compared to its vision and now you can see and you can tell that Aspire Zone is one of the biggest institution here in Qatar. One of the things that I remember very well was an animation that is our main administration building area where people are walking up and down the stairway. Uh, it was all animated. But that image plus the Aspire Dome image plus the message behind it, we want to build an academy where we develop players for the national team. That was something like, ooh, that's an opportunity that will not happen every day. We are coming <coughs> with the former staff by time to time, looking at the evolution of the building and coming inside. And, yeah, it's, uh, it's quite emotion to be uh, 10 years later and to see all achievements. My contribution was to build a good team in the school, uh, especially then in the Department of Education and the Student Care. So the building was not ready yet. Uh, it was a very small team at that time. We were in a villa across Hyatt Plaza. Uh, it, it was very interesting days. When we started the academy, everything was, we need to build it from nearly, I would say, scratch. We start to uh, adapt uh, one room near the green area uh, to the need of physiotherapy and uh, with the help of, uh, of Ali Salem and, and then step by step because the dome was not yet uh, uh, finished. From that moment on, we trained initially on one of the some of the fields here that were located. Afterwards, we moved away because the whole you know area here was under construction. The first event that I was involved is the inauguration of Sports Hall. It's one of the biggest events during the time. I opened the Academy of Aspire and it was a very beautiful thing for me. The first time I saw it was a big deal for me. And for me, I had the pleasure to see the Sheikh Jasm bin Hamad, who was the second one, who was the second one, who was the boy. صاحب فكرة الأكاديمية والله من أهم اللحظات اللي هي حفل افتتاح أكاديمية إسباير كان في 17 
November 2005. In uh, November 2005, and uh, the, the the ceremony it was a football tournament. It was also a sports science, sports medicine conference. Lots of famous people visiting here. Lots of different programs. Uh, it was a it was a touching moment. Pele, Maradona, Nadia, Comanche, the the agility, all of them were here. هذا الافتتاح الرائع. One of the highlights for football was that they brought Maradona and Pele together here, um, and there were a lot of other big, famous sports athletes from around the world. It was full of energy. That was like the opening of the dome. There were our youngest boys that were joining the academy. They were involved in the ceremony. There was a football tournament going on, and you had Barcelona, you had uh, Bayer Leverkusen, uh, you had Arsenal, you had uh, the big clubs from around the world. You feel that it was a starting point of, of something uh, will will become strong and, and powerful, you know? Back in 2006, this was called the Sports City and this was this played a major role in the 2006 Asian Games. Participate for Asian Games 2006 but we will start for the maintenance and other things from 2005. Knowing that Asian Games started in Sports City is a very uh, big part of our life back then. في نفس الوقت عندنا ابطال طلعوا الحين وبمثلوا القطر في المحافل الدوليه وده طبعا كريدت بالنسبه للاكاديميه. لك الحمد بالعكس السبايار تمشي وثقت الخطوه على اشياء مدروسه وان شاء الله تكون من افضل الاكاديميات في العالم. عبد الله التميمي بطل في الاسكواش على المستوى الاقليمي، اشرف امجد بطل عالمي. وعندنا الطالب معتز برشم ايضا بطلا عالميا. He was very slow, very weak, you know, he was very skinny. Coaches when they get him, they say no, he is not very good, he is very slow, he is very weak. I tell him, okay, can I try him in Decathlon? I take him to my group. And after he started to perform more in high jump, and we decided to send him to another coach for high jump, Coach Lubos. And he did a good job after with him. But what we're trying to do here is trying to merge different kinds of sports, um, not only football specific training but also the whole uh, football science behind it, the school, the lifestyle, the, the, the dietitians and all. You're trying to make a complete environment. The holistic program Aspire Academy offers is, is fantastic for young athletes and parents can be assured that we look after the children and youth very well. When you develop some long-term uh, program like that, the, the, the effect doesn't come the next day. And uh, now with the, already the, the win of the Asian Cup uh, last September in Myanmar, uh, also in the same time, the under-17 were also participating to another Asian Cup. It was already you know, 10 years ago when it happened the last time. It was in 2003 and I was there with the under-20. Hard work is will lead you to achieve your, your, your goals or your objectives. We proved that if you work hard, you can be competitive. Whether you win the championship or not, you have a chance because there's now three generations before you who have shown to you that you can be competitive. First of all, on Asian Cup. And secondly, one team was so good that they worked so well together that they even qualified for the World Cup. And being the champion of Asia, there's no more excuse for any of these kids to come in and say, hey, I have a dream, I want to be the best player. Okay, you want to be the best player? You want to beat this striker that scored the winning goal in the final of the under-19, Akram Afif? Okay, good, you have a chance, we will give you the opportunity. Now in the Aspire Dome, at the football field, they remove one of the big, big photo posters that Brazil national team wins the World Cup. This poster is gone, and now there's a huge poster of our under-19 national team receiving the trophy, being the Asian champion.
عدد الضيوف والمشاركين صار اكبر والايفنت خذ يعني حيز اكبر. If you look at the infrastructure that we have, the, the number of events that we host, the quality of these events, we are like world class in organizing these events. But I see um, Asper Zone Foundation being very uh, central in how uh, 2022 World Cup is, uh, you know, how that will be organized. We were standing at the center of Aspire Park and everybody's cheering and then when the time comes everybody went silent. The winner to organize the 222 FIFA World Cup is Qatar. <laughs> We were watching here at the Academy the, the live broadcast and uh, it's a wonderful moment. Uh, the moment when uh, the name of Qatar was revealed that was actually shown to the entire uh, staff and it was a great experience, a moment of real you know, triumph. The, the happiness was uh, overwhelming everyone here. Uh, for us it was, um, I think, maybe we were thinking about it a little bit differently when we are saying that we will see our boys in 2020 for sure. For 22, um, I hope the best for the country and, and I think it will be a uh, surprising uh, result that uh, maybe some other people in the world are not expecting. 22, this will be center of the world. One of the first slogans that came out was Aspire Today, Inspire Tomorrow. Another slogan that came out was, there's a place for those who dare to dream. And I think a combination of those two is trying to capture the academy and on a big, bigger project, the Aspire Zone. As we have built this place together, continue to work closely together and learning from each other, supporting each other. Motivation let people to work hard as a teamwork. والله أحب المكان وأحب التعامل مع ال الستاف اللي عندي ما شاء الله روح الفريق الواحد إحنا تعيننا من البداية كنا أربعة الحين ما شاء الله وصلنا أربعة عشر موظف. That's someone work hard and honesty and helpful for each other. So I think they are be lucky man. نتابر على العمل والجدية وواحد دائما يكون عنده عمل الحمد لله إحنا كان عملنا التقديم. Every day you get to learn something new, which, which makes it more interesting. So if you ask me, like, you know, just feel sussy if I just started a few days back. Uh, it's never been like 10 years. It's only when somebody tells me, how long are you be here? And then you reflect back and said, okay, it's been a while, but it's like I'm enjoying every single moment here. Yeah, when you look back 15 years ago, it's a long way has been achieved. And it's just a proud feeling. You should feel proud that you are working in such an environment. It's been a, a wonderful experience to see the academy grow from practically from sand to what we are now, a world-renowned uh, sports center. وأنا بفتكر إن هي الحين يعني أسبير بتشكل أيقونة الرياضة. Only looking back does not help. So, and this is if we look for the future, we can never stop developing further. ACDF is one big family and it's growing.